According to Mohamed Uzair, director of the Malaysian Department of Statistics, the registration process for the government's primary database system has concluded. Subsequently, authorities will automatically create accounts for individuals who have not yet registered, utilizing information obtained from other databases. The main database, known as PADU, Pankalan Data Utama, is a database set up by the Malaysian government to enhance the distribution of aid and subsidies to targeted recipients. This comprehensive database gathers personal and family details of Malaysians, including basic income, expenditure status, work location, number of dependents, and passive income. As of the midnight registration deadline on March 31, 10.8 million people had registered and updated their information, constituting approximately 48% of the target population. Mohammed User stated that the launch of PADU aims to establish a secure, detailed, and near real-time main national database. By digitizing data, the government can conduct more precise analyses and formulate more effective aid and subsidy policies to narrow income gaps. Moreover, the PADU platform will integrate personal and family information to facilitate easier extraction and management of this data, enabling the government to make more informed decisions. As the PADU system continues to enhance, the government will be better equipped to identify the issue of social polarization between the affluent and the impoverished, and assist promptly and accurately to those genuinely in need. Simultaneously, this system can curb the misuse of government assistance funds or subsidies, reduce the government's distribution costs, and ultimately contribute to fiscal efficiency. However, the launch of the PADU system has also sparked concerns about data security among some individuals, who fear the possibility of personal information leaks. In response to these concerns, the finance minister reassured the public, stating that the PADU system was developed solely by civil servants without the involvement of third parties, and all participants have signed confidentiality agreements. Furthermore, in the event of a data breach, relevant authorities will swiftly identify the cause and prosecute those responsible. Despite these concerns, the PADU system remains a crucial tool for the Malaysian government. It not only aids in the formulation of more precise policies, but also enhances the efficiency of policy implementation. Moreover, the integration of data from over 455 government departments and agencies into the PADU system enables centralized management of personal reference materials, further improving government transparency and efficiency. Mohammed User acknowledged that the PADU system has encountered challenges during its promotion, such as data security concerns and lower-than-expected registration rates. Nevertheless, the government remains committed to enhancing the system and encouraging greater participation in registration and information updates. The Malaysian government's investment of RM7 billion in establishing the PADU system underscores its commitment to enhancing social welfare policies. As the PADU system undergoes continuous improvement and promotion, it is expected to yield positive impacts on social development and the enhancement of people's livelihoods in Malaysia. Tune in every Monday to Friday at 8 p.m. for Qingxiao View, The Business Bridge.